Let's do this! Uh, okay. Lie to me is about. It, it hurts when you're you're in a in a romantic situation and the other person is in it for reasons that you aren't. When your love doesn't line up. When the love don't line up. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> when the love don't line up. Kind of like somber lyrics with a more like upbeat upbeat tone to the to the entire song and the like major chord structure. Lie to me lyrically is totally inspired from heartbreak, but attempting to move on. Uh, they, they, there was like the, the melancholy like kind of chords and there was the la 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 and I think yeah I was just relating it back to my own life and Lie to Me is a special song to me because of one the writing process and two the recording process. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a little drunk. <laughs> the camera's falling over. <laughs> the camera's had a few babies, eh? Sonically, the song came about in a really incredible way. Lie to Me was actually written the day after uh, we wrote Youngblood. I'd always wanted a song that had a police every breath you take type guitar mixed in with a groove from a modern urban song. So we're writing this riff to something that went And I remember Ashton and Andrew sitting on the couch and they had the la 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 And then we're all like, all right, let's come back in tomorrow and we'll finish the idea. And that's how we got Lie to Me. Lie to, there was a point in my life I play Lie to Me about 400 times a day. How are the 808s and Lie to Me? Fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say Look into her eyes, oh, oh, oh. All right, is it going? We are rolling, Valentine. All right, Valentine. Valentine to me is kind of like the ultimate Valentine's Day song. It's like our version of All I Want for Christmas. In my opinion, like it's Mariah like- Mariah Carey? Like Mariah Carey. I feel like no one has made the perfect Valentine's Day song of- <laughs> Hi, I'm Callum Hood. I play bass in the band, Five Seconds of Summer. Uh, okay. Valentine. I'm gonna tell you a little something about Valentine. Uh, Valentine. Uh, V-A-L-N-T-Y-N-E. Valentine. I don't know if that was right. Plus. When you listen to it, it's, it, it kind of encapsulates what the type of mood and feeling that you want to be feeling on Valentine's Day is, which is... In this song, there are samples. Uh, which we've played around a lot with in the past. That was actually influenced by bands like The Offspring and people like that who would chop up small samples of drum sounds and create loops and that's what the verses would be based off. And then you would come in with bigger sounding live drums in the choruses and that's what we did on Valentine. Uh, we were writing with Mike Elizander, his name is, he was uh, Dr. Dre's bassist. I really loved his, his workplace and his, his style of, of working with others, he had a lot of respect for people and, and was very open to ideas. Him being a bassist, naturally. I remember Callum had a stanky bass line and he was being a bit shy about it, I remember. I was like, I gotta come up with a great bass line that beats all his other great bass lines. Callum was going And I was like, dude, Stop. Stop. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yes, I remember this very clearly now. For me, Valentine was about, I don't, I think, that sounds very cheesy. I'm gonna throw some cheddar in the works here. That Valentine's Day should be every day. Um, That's right. Yeah. And I was listening to a lot of The Cure, a lot. Uh, like Massive Attack, Portishead. Lyrically is about a lazy love and a love that feels free. Um, it's a love that meets in the middle and uh, there's no expectations. Valentine's Day is probably my most hated day of the year just because there's a lot of pressure put on that day and I don't think that's how it should be. I think you should always constantly show your love and support to your 
significant other. That's where the lyric comes from, throw the balloons and the teddy bears and chocolate eclairs away. I got nothing but love for you. Uh, got nothing but love for you, full more in love every day, which I think is a beautiful love to feel. Thank you for your time, Luke. Yeah, um, the production was uh, crucial for the album. Thank I you for your time, Luke. <laughs> <And> I... <laughs> uh, you're never gonna make it. You're never gonna make it.